Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little vlog. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm in a little bit of a rush, as per usual. Yeah, I'm gonna be filming a few days this week because I've got a couple of fun things going on. And first things first, today I'm heading to Westfield with my mum to do some shopping. Kind of my birthday, early birthday, like, presents i guess because as a, as we got older we figured it was better that we went shopping together with my mom um so she could just buy us a few bits that we definitely liked instead of her like picking her brains into what we wanted so that is the plan for today um i need to leave in like five minutes absolutely gorgeous outside and the temperature is actually going to reach highs of 20 degrees i know um i've actually been <laughs> getting a bit stressed trying to put clothes on because suddenly it's just got really warm and i'm like ah I forgot how to dress for this weather especially because i'm not tanned at the moment but i'll show you what i've opted for i've gone for this bodysuit which i've been living in at the moment it's from plt it's really simple but it just has a few cutouts and it just adds a little something excuse that mess please down there i've opted for these really wide leg lightweight trousers from zara they're just so cool as in like temperature wise these sandals from primark i showed these in one of my hauls um they're just yeah really comfy i'll bring you along with us probably grab some lunch i should really get going so i'll see you in a bit okay so we're at westfield i'm wearing a mask right. because obviously, <laughs> obviously um I'm going away really soon and I just don't want to risk it. You don't actually have to wear masks anymore, um, which is my, my mum isn't. But yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit safer. Just went into La Visa, La, v La Visa, I don't know how you say it. Uh, the jewellery shop and we saw loads of bits, but we're going to go back on the way out. And we're on a mission to go to Primark first, I think, because Primark holiday shopping is the best. Yes. And yeah hopefully we'll get some good bits i probably won't show you too much of what i get because i do want to do a little haul not been to westfield in so long so much has changed but i kind of miss it, it used to be my second home <laughs> coming to fly and tiger mum's not sure about this shop i really like it it's just funky i've got loads of bits for easter stop how cute we're just in primark and look how unreal this counter is it's huge it smells amazing and it's 10 pounds it's gonna be really heavy but i'm gonna risk it <laughs> i'm gonna buy it because it's beautiful and so cheap it smells so good it's other scents but this is the one we've come to cabana in westfield come outside because it's beautiful weather and we've ordered some small plates actually just to share and we've got some goods in Primark ended up getting the candle in the end because I just couldn't leave it and yeah excited for some lunch but yum so we've got sweet potato fries chicken wings prawn tacos there's only one to so have to share <laughs> take a bite out of each and then some avocado uh, guacamole I mean but you have to smash it yourself which is fun you want to give that a go? oh thanks this is quite a fun activity look I made the guacamole just got on the train home got some more bits from Zara but again saving that for the haul and yeah we're heading home it's only half past three which is good because we came early so we've still got the rest of the day my ears <laughs> i think it was a success overall do you yeah got some good bits um but we'll say a lot of the shops are very similar the bright colors sometimes a bit too much but yeah this is actually hurting my ears also got some really nice earrings from la Visa. i do have um Planet is a life thing. A couple of piercings. I do want to get more. Oh, oh they're nice. One bought these. Honestly, we could have spent hours in there. They had so many nice bits. And then I got these. How nice are they? Love them. So simple and elegant. 
and then yeah thanks and then also these just some nice gold hoops and then i also got loads um i got these as well which are like rectangle shapes and then yeah i usually use like nose rings as my second hole but i really want gold ones i've been looking for some for ages i got a few packs these are so cute this reminds me of the snake earring that i had years ago that lost um this is really nice as well i just got loads of different ones because i like to mix and match how cute is that as well hopefully they look good in i'll put them in probably when i get home i am back home now it's always so dark when i get back um in this room but i'll stand by the window for a sec i am just heading out the door because i basically changed into some comfier clothes and also i'm going to be painting tonight because i'm going to zoe and ed's house just around the corner my sister's house um maybe i'll give you guys a little tour of like what's going on there because their house is just incredible and i think i've shown i think i've shown parts in my videos before maybe i haven't or on instagram so i'll give you a little tour if they'll let me if it's tidy and um yeah we're gonna actually be painting because for another video which i've had in the works for ages now um they are letting me design one of their spare bedrooms and yeah basically design and decorate so that's been going on for a while but they actually have carpets going down i think next week so we need to do the next layer of paint maybe i'll give you a little sneak peek but that is actually going to be a video i don't know when that will be ready because i'm not sure when the room will be complete but i've shown you guys like the process of start to finish my like design head and bringing it to life so i think that'd be a really cool video like i said i don't know when that'll be out so i'll give you some sneak peeks i'm actually gonna take over some dinner because i have some hello fresh meals um that need to be cooked so yeah i'm gonna head over there now and we'll see what we get up to i've just got two zoe's i actually don't think i've shown your house so well it's a bit of a tip yes i mean i've just brought all my stuff in here to be fair to make it messy but we are about to cook dinner um this is their lovely kitchen and what's your instagram the bishop's renovation yeah so this is a complete renovated house and extended and extended um i'll put their instagram on the screen and down below if you're interested in interior it is very satisfying and yeah it's just it's not completely finished but it's definitely getting there and it's just goals um <laughs> this lovely painting love it that where's, went up that went up two days ago where's it from it's from home sense oh my god i, I love home love sense it. yeah it's got uh, accents of gold yeah so um i'll show you like a couple rooms maybe if zoe lets me this is the downstairs toilet I love the colour scheme. I've gone for a dark green. I think they need another coat. Um, nice mirror. And yeah, because it was like built from scratch basically, they got to choose everything they wanted. And yeah, they've gone a little bit more uh, experimental with colours in this house because their last house was very like grey and white, as we all do. Mine's very plain. But yeah, they wanted to have some colour in this house. So there's some colourful rooms upstairs, but yeah. You can show them your room. Yeah, I'll show you my room when we go upstairs, the room that I'm decorating. I did kind of explain that that's another video on the way, but in the meantime, let's make dinner. This is what I was saying earlier about the pops of colour. This room is the green room. <laughs> that floor is just floorboards. It's not actually going to be a green floor, but there'll be carpet in here. I can't really see the actual colour in this light. But it's like a sagey pale green really nice this bathroom is so nice <gasps> so good look at the bath it's like a floating bath and then they've done like contrast tiles if you follow them on instagram you would have seen this all already because this was one of the rooms to be finished first as well and then they've done dark walls what color is this zoe in, in lick paint 
I don't know where she is. Um, but I'm pretty sure she knows the name of that paint. It's such a nice, like, it's almost like bluey grey charcoal. They've got their sink and toilet and then a nice shower. And yeah, the floor is really cool as well. It's like hotel vibes. They're gonna have a big mirror above the sink. And these flowers, um, not flowers, they're like resin letters, Zoe and Ed. Ed got these for Zoe after their wedding because the flowers in them are from their actual bouquet. How cool and cute is that? Um, I helped Ed find the seller, it was on Etsy. So I'll try and link it down below because I think it's such a good idea and they turned out amazing and Zoe was so happy with them. Um, so yeah, they've got those in their bathroom as well. This is one of your favorite rooms, isn't it Zoe? Which one? This bathroom. Yeah. What is um, the color of the paint from Lick? Black 01. Black 01. So it's like an off black though. Mm -hmm. It's more yeah. like a black with a hint of blue. Yeah. Right, on to painting. And also I love my skirting, which is the same colour. <laughs> there we go. Skirting's the same colour. Um, okay, so this is the room that we're painting. The room that I chose the colours of. Like a terracotta orange and a cream contrast. But you have to watch the other video that's coming soon for the full reveal. <sighs> okay, guys, just got home. I was going to say the time, but you can actually see it there. Um, it's just gone 10 p.m. I'm gonna take my makeup off and get straight into bed. I'm knackered. Um, let's see how many steps I've done today, actually. 14,000 steps, pretty good going. I've closed all my rings today, which is a good, good time. I'm gonna get straight into bed. I actually have to be up at like seven tomorrow because I've got to go get a delivery signed off <laughs> at the house. I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. It's so bright and sunny. Makes me happy. Nice half in the morning. I've just been to the house, collected the delivery, and now I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks drive through because there's one right near it. I actually wanna get the oat shake and espresso, which is dreamy. And yeah, I need it now. Have coffee, go home. Can I get the uh, shake and oat espresso, please? Sure. Did you want the cocoa or the brown sugar one? Uh, brown sugar, please. No worries. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Please. Thanks. I mean, Starbucks are clearly very good at marketing because, let's be honest, like, if you've had the shake and espresso, it is just like a caramel latte, but shake and oat espresso just sounds so interesting. The brown sugar. But I'd actually bet money that they use nothing new, just a different name. <laughs> okay, I'm back home. I've just turned the oven on because I actually want to make some baked oats for breakfast. And I did try this a couple of weeks ago. Didn't go to plan. It tasted like soap or sun cream. And I put it on my story and a lot of people said you need to really blitz it like in your Nutribullet because sometimes the baking soda is not mixed or it wasn't cooked properly or I added too much. So I'm gonna try again. And I actually have a screenshot from Charlotte Greedy, Miss Greedy's home. I think her last name's Greedy. Um, Miss Greedy's home on Instagram. And I remember seeing this and thinking, oh my God, that looks so nice. So I'm gonna follow this recipe. Hopefully it goes well. Um, she did lemon and blueberries. I don't have any blueberries, but I do have, I think I have raspberries. Yes, I have raspberries. So that's what we're gonna do for breakfast. Hopefully it turns out okay, but I will keep you updated. So we need 50 grams oats, one egg. Okay, this is the baking powder, which last time I messed up, so I am 
just going to put in like that much. I think that's what I think I put in too much last time. Honey, I'm gonna add all this. Maybe I shouldn't because that's probably where I went wrong last time, but never mind. And one small banana. Dash of almond milk. I don't know if I have almond milk, but I'm sure any milk will do. But some people said that mine tasted weird because it had banana in it, so. Oh, look at that. I do have almond milk. Okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit in because you can always add more. Nutribullet, Nutribullet is probably the best thing I've invested in. Um, I use it most days, so good. And let's blitz. looks good uh, okay I'm gonna put this in a pot and then I'll show you before I put it in the oven okay these already look better than the first time and lemon and raspberry is actually an elite combo so I'm hoping this is gonna be really good um, I'm excited let's put it in the oven and I'll do a little transition <laughs> three two one <laughs> I have no idea how that transition went but this looks good doesn't it uh, I'm a bit nervous because it does smell still soapy um, let's do a taste test. I don't actually know if this is cooked. Oh, texture's better. It's more like a cake. It smells good. I think I like it. It's hot. Oh, it's more like um, banana bread. You see that the texture's much more like a cake. I definitely should have blended it the first time because it was like bitty. Mmm, I recall. On that screenshot, she put a little bit of syrup on the top. I'm definitely going to copy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God. Yum. Baked oats. I'll leave this recipe down below. Again, not mine. Uh, can't take credit. It was Miss Greedy's home. So definitely go try it. I feel like this would be such a nice summer breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm probably gonna go to the gym once it's gone down in like 40 minutes. Should be okay. Okay guys, it is a lot later. I have been to the gym. I didn't film anything in there, sorry. It was just so busy. I've come back. I feel like I'm always vlogging as I'm about to rush out the door, but it's coming here because I think the lighting's a bit better. I've just put on some makeup. I've just put on some clothes, I've chucked on an outfit. I feel like this transition of weather is honestly stressing me out because I'm not sure whether it's going to be cold, hot. I'm heading to my mum's. I think I'm actually going to stay there tonight um, just for ease. And I think she needs me to give her a lift somewhere tomorrow morning. So it just kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, we're all going to go for some dinner tonight. And then obviously watch Pretty Woman, the musical. Very, very excited. This was actually a Christmas present to um, my mum and sisters a couple of years ago. But obviously it got postponed and cancelled. So this is the outfit I've chosen. It's sort of like a summer suit vibe. Um, I've got this blazer on. I've had this for years and I just love the fit of it. I think it's misguided. And it's actually really fine pinstripes. I'm not sure if you can see. In like a really pastel blue green colour. And then I've just got on these um, light green trousers. You can see the mess where I've tried everything on. They're like sagey green and then just a little top and yeah hopefully this will be a good mix of everything and just some trainers comfort is key i've got in my new hoops actually from la visa focus ones i showed you yesterday on the train how cute are they i will say the second ones um they keep falling out so hopefully i don't lose them i love them but I'm not really sure why that is i need to go now so i will see you when i'm with the others golden hour just got to london we're just on our way to dinner. Say hi. Hi. And we're going to somewhere called Browns. Mum and Zoe are back there. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's nice. It's such a beautiful day in London. What evening. <gasps> Stunning. Also, I forgot my camera. So I'm filming on my phone. Say hi. Hello. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Cheers guys. 
Look guys, there it is, pretty woman. And the coal hole. <laughs> and the coal hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. It's a red red whoa, man. And the coal hole. Um are you gonna get snacks? Yeah, I want sweeties. What sweets? Um I think I want some chocolate actually. So whoa. Whoa, I'm gonna go. Woo. We're gonna save our coins and get some chocolates in here. No, the question is, it's a do you big go question. Or, or both. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is Friday, woo! And I stayed at my mum's last night, mum and dad's. If you can't tell, I'm in a different location. Considering I forgot to take my camera out yesterday, I should probably use it this morning because bad vlogging from me. Beautiful day, we love to see it. You're on some cereal jars. I just made myself some breakfast. I rinse my stay here. Um, I've got strawberries, Greek yogurt, granola and syrup. Also made myself a coffee and then I'm gonna head off. It's quite early, it's half past eight um, because I'm going back into London today. I can see Bailey at the door. <laughs> um, I'm going back into London today for an event, which will be fun. Ooh. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I miss not living with you. What have you got? Sorry, she's turning um, 13 this year. And she's still like a puppy. The show last night was so good. Sorry, I didn't take my camera and I only got some bits on my phone. Quite annoying, but um, yeah, it was really nice. It was me, my mum and my sisters. And the show was really good. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Um, we all sort of had a little critique when we came out, but overall the show was really good. The actors were amazing. Um, I. I'd say it's definitely worth a watch, but yeah, there was a couple of things where we were all like, oh, would have done that a bit differently. And we went to Brown's for dinner in Covent Garden, again, underrated restaurant. It's a brasserie, so it's sort of like the ivy slash coat. Um, but I've never been, I have been before, but not in like six years probably. Um, and I feel like it's got better, so. Yeah, in Covent Garden, really pretty restaurant. Definitely recommend to go there as well. Going to London, that's only a little popping event. I'm actually getting my hair done because it's for GHD. So that's exciting. And then tonight, even that's Friday, I'm just having a quiet night in because tomorrow morning, very early, I'm doing a wedding. So I make up for a wedding and um, I have to be up at like probably about half six because I've got to be there for eight get all my bits in the car. Um, so yeah, tonight will just be like a prepping, washing all my brushes, packing all my stuff, um, and an early night. But I will show you what I get up to. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, then head home. <laughs> Bailey knows exactly where her dental stick treats are. She heard me say that. <laughs> and she is, Wait impatiently. She looks at the drawer until you give her one, but she's already had one today. And now I'm thinking, does she have dementia? Because she's forgotten or is she just trying her luck? But I'm back home now and I have done my makeup and I'm just brushing through my hair. Um, obviously I'm not gonna do my hair because I am gonna get it done at the event. <laughs> Thought it'd be polite to brush it. By the way, I feel like it looks like I don't brush my hair. I do, but it just not so easily. So when I go to do it, I have to brush it all over again. Um, I mainly brush it in the shower. And then when it's natural, I'll just leave it because if I brush out the natural waves, it goes like this. So unless I'm styling it or it's wet, I guess I don't really brush it. And I've got on some jeans and a white blazer. I'm wearing this lipstick from MAC. It is Secura Season, I think, from the Wild Cherry Collection. I did a little real test in this stuff and this lipstick is so nice. I'm not a huge lipstick person anymore. I'm usually like a bit of liner 
and gloss. But this lipstick might become a new favourite. Right, I'll do a little outfit of the day quickly. I've got on this white blazer and then just these um, Mistress Rocks jeans. They're one of my favourites. They're like straight leg, I guess. And there's a big mess in the background, but we'll ignore that. Um, I'm going to probably just put on trainers, sunnies and head into London. So... Yeah, I'm excited to get my hair done. I've actually not had it done in so long. Okay, so what we're doing, we're doing waves, beachy. I've, got, I've said I've got a lot of hair, so are you sure you want to do it? <laughs> got some banana bread. Yum. guys so as you can see I'm now home and my hair's still looking very cute from the GHD event um, I was saying to the girls there that honestly getting my hair done is my favorite thing ever I feel like it always looks blonde blonder when I I um, actually do something to it not that I did this but um, getting my hair done is honestly my favorite thing and as soon as I saw that that was part of the event I was like yes i'm there um and we also got a cute little goodie bag from ghd which was really nice um let me lay it out and i'll show you what's inside um i have ordered myself a nando's for dinner um because i don't have any food in and i don't really want to go out and i don't really fancy cooking so i thought nando's was quite a good choice it's kind of i see nando's as like a dinner that i would make at home to be fair so yeah, I've been lazy today and I'm going to order one because I'm thinking I might be really productive tonight and film a video. So if I eat earlier, um, then I can film, sort out my bits for tomorrow and I don't have to think about dinner. So I'm kind of making an excuse by saying that I'm going to be doing something productive. Yeah, I just ordered some chicken, rice and corn on the cob. Kind of boring, but yeah, let me show you what's in this little goodie bag. I don't know if GHD have like a partnership with Charlotte Tilbury and OPI or they just sort of collab for this event because they did have Charlotte Tilbury doing makeup and also OPI doing nails. I didn't go for it just because um, I already had my makeup on, obviously, and yeah, I just didn't fancy getting my makeup done. And I also already have my nails done, so just the hair for me. But we have got GHD brush, always very handy, paddle brush. And then, yeah, we've got loads of bits from Charlotte Tilbury, which is always a good time. Magic cream, I cannot get enough of this stuff. If you guys know me, you'll know that this is my fave. Um, also another GHD product, which is the heat protect spray. Wow, we've got loads of goodies here. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. Um, I'm assuming this is Pillow Talk. Yeah, Pillow Talk lipstick and Pillow Talk liner. Another Pillow Talk liner and another one. So all the shades, maybe not all the shades, but a few different shades in Pillow Talk. An OPI nail varnish. That's pretty. In the shade Cajun Shrimp. <laughs> Random. And also another Pillow Talk lipstick. And then a cute little vanilla cookie that says GHD. Always, always a good time when there's food in the PR parcel. I am actually gonna start editing this vlog because from tomorrow, my weekend's gonna get hectic and then I'm probably not gonna have loads of time to finish this video. So I'm gonna get most of it done and then I'll just have to insert the rest uh, when I've actually finished filming, which will probably be tonight. So yeah. I will probably show you when my Nando's comes. Okay, Nando's, forgot to show you guys when it arrived, but it's been eaten and it was delicious. 
delicious delicious i'm just gonna clear up and then i actually also decided i'm not gonna film the video because i realized i need to go out and get some stuff that's the whole point where i ordered dinner because i really just don't want to go out now and it's getting dark and i feel like i'm just gonna not it's not gonna be like the best that i can do it so i'd rather just put it off and film it in the week maybe tomorrow if i have time um so yeah i'm actually going to tidy up and then in a bit i'm gonna sort through all my stuff and i'm gonna clean my makeup brushes i'm actually gonna test some new products for makeup brushes because i got sent some so maybe i'll show you that but yeah i'm gonna do that a bit later so i've taken off my makeup i might have to put a light over here because as always it's dark in my kitchen here we are. We're currently in my cupboard right now. Um, I probably will have to move you so that you can actually see what I'm doing. But basically, I need to clean all of my brushes so that they can dry overnight, ready for my clients tomorrow. What I do is I usually, yes, yeah, so I usually use a bar of soap to clean my brushes, but, or like washing up liquid if I don't have a bar of soap. But I recently got sent these products from Cinema Secrets. I feel like these have been around for years because even when I first started watching YouTube, some of my favorite like American YouTubers, I feel like used to always be like, Cinema Secrets, Cinema Secrets. <laughs> so I definitely recognize the name of the brand, but yeah, I got sent some of their products and I thought, let's try them. The makeup brush cleaner it's quick drying as well and then all natural brush soap so i'm pretty sure you can literally just swipe around your brush dirty brush i've got so many brushes here that needs to clean dirty brush in here once you've wet it and then it should work so let's try both of these products that smells really nice ah there's like a little um yeah so you can scrub it on the pad or your hand this is a bit more like alcohol i think yeah so you shouldn't really use this on your hands but this is for stubborn makeup brushes. So what I'm gonna do is brush soap first and then any that I need to use this for because I feel like this is either on the go, like on set or something where you don't have a sink or stubborn. So I'm gonna do this one first. Let's give this a go. So I'm gonna go for a big one. As you can see, it's very dirty. Pretty sure you just swirl it in here pick up the soap and then on the back of your hand okay that is quick smells really nice as well oh my god this actually might be a lifesaver it's similar to a bar of soap but I don't know it seems easier I don't know if you could see so I just swirled it around in there this isn't an ad, by the way. I just got sent it in PR and I thought I'd give it a go. Foams up. And then you just rinse it under the water. And it's done. I always let my brushes dry like that, by the way. Because if you stand them up, you've probably heard this before, but all of the water drips into the glue that holds the bristles and they'll just fall out. And just like that, all my brushes are sparkling clean. Honestly, it didn't take me too long either. And I did clean five beauty blenders as well. And that soap worked really well for them too. So yeah, first job is ticked off. I'll just let these dry and I'll pack them up in the morning. Um, so now I'm going to pack all of my makeup into little bags. Um, so it's easier to know where everything is when I'm actually doing the makeup tomorrow. Thank you. 
but I just did a little time lapse of me basically taking bits out of my drawers um, and separating them into categories in bags. I thought I'd just show you a quick rundown of a mini makeup kit and yes believe it or not this is quite a small one to take but that's only because I know the types of looks that I'm gonna do and um, if I had no idea I would genuinely take the whole drawers just because you never know um but yeah I do have an idea of what I'm doing tomorrow so this is just base so foundation and concealers in most shades and if in doubt I always take my bobby brown palette um because that has all the shades that you will need and also this is really good i think nars discontinued this it's the liquid bronzer and it's really good for just making a shade um just making the foundation a shade or two darker um and it keeps the consistency really nice so yeah i've got all of my bases in there this is like the prep bag i still need to add some bits to this like tweezers and eyelash glue but this has got like cleanser um moisturizer um primer setting spray things like that this is um like glitters and pigments and stuff all in it goes nicely in this little this is a laura mercier case and i've got a glitter glue in there as well and it's like eye bases and stuff then this is my brows before bros <laughs> from benefit and that's got brow products in it this is bronzer powder bronzer products um this is mascaras in a nice little nars pouch nars yeah it's got loads of mascaras in it this is lip products like glosses and more like liquid lips lip scrub and oil in there as well then this is lipsticks mainly mac and charlotte tilbury then these are eyeliners and liquid eyeshadows um in a lot of shades this little pouch is lip liners actually a pencil case <laughs> lip liners fit really nicely in there and then this little pouch is blushes and highlights so that is like the majority. I am gonna add a couple bits into them, which is why they're all still left open. And then I just pack them in a big bag and I also take a ring light and obviously all my brushes tomorrow. And then I've just picked out some palettes that I'm also going to take. And I think I'm gonna take, oh, I need to pack lashes as well. Um, but I'm also gonna take a couple of big palettes as well, which I keep in my bottom drawer so yeah in case you were interested that is how i pack my makeup kit for a makeup job i'm now in bed it's only it's not even nine o'clock yet but like i said i've got a really early morning i think i'm gonna have to get up about six and leave about just gone six because basically the wedding is in kent which is quite away from me but it is a friend of a friend i'm probably not going to go to sleep straight away because I probably won't be able to but i'm just gonna lay in bed everything is organized ready for the morning and yeah i'm gonna try and get a good night's sleep i'm gonna end this vlog here because yeah i'm not doing anything and then I'm not going to film in the morning and probably won't film at the weekend. And also I want to get this up for Sunday. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this weekend is Mother's Day actually. So I think this is going up on Mother's Day. I hope you all have a really nice day. And I know Mother's Day can be really hard for some people. Whether you're celebrating with your mum, your nan, your friends. Even if you're on your own. Um... I really hope you have a nice day and I'm sending my love to all of you and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and good night. Bye.